Hey guys, it's me, Symphony Me Plays. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing how to reshade to G shade or G shade to reshade. Basically, everything G shade and reshade related. The reason I am doing this video is I got a comment request, and I'm going to put it on the screen now. And this comment was just by Poet Lorette, just explaining how she would use G shade if she understood, or reshade if she understood how to install it. Well, no problem. That is what I am here for. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Alrighty, the first thing you want to do is head to your browser of choice. Go ahead and type G Shade in there. And you're going to get this right here. It's going to say gshade.org. This is not the site that you are looking for. Scroll down. It's usually about the second or third one. It is this right here, the Git Hub. It's very important that you come here just because after G-Shade had that whole malware and virus issue, they completely moved to GitHub, and this is where you're gonna get everything that you need. So you're gonna go from there, let me show you again, to down here under releases, and this is going to be where you're gonna get G-Shade. You're gonna scroll down and get the latest installer, and go ahead and click that, and whatever your choice of browser will begin downloading G-Shade. Next, I recommend that you head over to my Tumblr page and from here, go ahead and go to the plus button and do my G Shade presets folder, which you can go ahead and get the download on the patron uh, and scroll down and right there, the RAR folder that you're going to need. This has a list of many different G Shade presets that I love in my game. Alrighty, this is what your downloads folder should look like. You'll have the G Shade latest installer and my G Shades folder. Of course, you don't have to do that. And I will show you uh, one preset that you can find that's not in my folder just to make it easier for you. In Google Chrome, I would just type G Shade presets Sims 4, which you can see is a common search for me. And then you have Tumblr, you have uh, a bunch of places. I usually get mine from Tumblr because there's the photos. We're going to be careful though because you know how Tumblr is and we're just going to scroll through until we find one that we like. So, toasted. That one's kind of, kind of like that one. I like more of a lighter. Ooh. Yep. Okay. This is a good one. So, you see what I'm saying? And then I just scroll down to wherever the download is and I will download it, which is right here. Go ahead and click that. That's gonna take me to wherever I need to go. And then I'm going to get both gameplay and cast because I always love a good cast and gameplay preset. Alrighty, now you know how to download them, where to download them from, and the G-Shade latest installer. Now, the reason that you see an unconfirmed download, I wanna show you how to fix that. Under your downloads tab, you're going to see these files right here, it's gonna say, Chrome block this because this file type isn't commonly downloaded and it may be down, uh, dangerous. Just click download unverified file and you are good to go. And now it is the INI folder or file, excuse me, that you just downloaded. The next thing we're going to do is right click my G Shade presets folder and go ahead and extract to its own little unzipped folder here. And then I'm going to grab all of these besides off. You do not need that. Move this out and then go ahead and delete this folder leaving only these in my downloads plus what we have the g-shade installer so now you're going to click the g-shade latest installer it's going to ask if you want to allow this app to make changes from an unknown publisher click yes and it's black for you but i can see it and then it's going to pop up this little installation thing here and whatever your language is select that and click ok then you're going to see the user agreement press i agree and then now it's this is very important it's asking you where exactly is your game that you're trying to put g-shade installed at so for us it's the sims 4 typically you can just go through and do this and it'll put it where your sims 4 is and if you're using steam click steam and it'll have it'll locate the steam file i don't use steam so this is it and then click next now, it's asking you choose G-Shade settings and presets. So, you have two sections here. The required settings, the exe executable 
architecture and then the graphics. So what graphics does this game run on and what architecture are you running on your computer? If you're not sure how to find your architecture, I'm going to show you now. So what you want to do is you want to go here to your Windows Start button, right click, press the settings, and then from there you want to go into System, scroll all the way down to you see the About tab, click there, and now you can see where it says 64-bit operating system and x64 base processor. So now I know I'm on 64-bit and The Sims 4 runs DirectX 9, so you can go ahead and check that there. Now you want to click Enable. Oh, I almost said enable. No, install. It's going to install the G Shade setup into the Sims 4 exactly where you told it to go. And we just wait for the installation to finish. It's very quick and easy. All right. Now, this right here is asking where do you want the screenshots that you're going to be taken? Like G Shade is going to be taken. Where do you want to put them? For me, I actually have a specific folder. And that is my G Shade screenshot folder here in this public pictures. But I'm just going to copy this for this. Go ahead and click the X and I'm going to paste where I want that at and click finish. It did not set, but I just do that so that in game it's in that file folder. Now we have installed G Shade's control panel and you get the custom shaders here. I would just say go ahead and find somewhere to put this. I keep it in my video making things under The Sims 4, but of course, if you want to leave them on your desktop, you can. All right, now that you have set up G Shade, now we have to find where to put the presets. So to do that, you wanna go to wherever your Sims 4 bin folder is. For me, that is my local disk, e, uh, program files, EA game, Sims 4 game, and then bin. And now you're going to see G Shade add on and G Shade preset. You will not see reshade. You won't see any of this. I have old reshade. I could honestly delete these if I wanted to. I just haven't gotten around to it. I probably will um, as of right now, but that's prior to reshade. You can just delete that. But what you will see is the G Shade add ons and G Shade presets right here. And this is what we are interested in. So, what you're going to do is you're going to click G Shade presets and click custom. And as you can see, all of my presets that I already have are in here however i do want to get rid of some of them or really all of them and just put the ones that i want that i just downloaded and the ones for my folder straight into there and now you have your presets installed quick little disclaimer before hopping into game if you are a mac user i'm sorry g shade is a windows only application as well as reshade so this is directed towards Windows users only. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop into game and I'm going to show you how to set up your G Shade. To know you installed G Shade correctly, you will see G Shade is now installed successfully. It's going to tell you which key to press. For you, it's going to be Shift Backspace, but for me, since it's already set, is the Home key. Alrighty, so this is what the menu is going to look like when you pop it up. I skipped the tutorial, so you can just click Skip Tutorial. You're going to see this page. I currently have mine on, but what we're interested in first is the settings tab, which is where all your keys that are going to control your G shade are. So when you come here, you're going to see shift backspace. Mine is now the home key. And then for the shader toggler key, I use the OME squiggly line key, as I like to call it. That's right under the escape. And then I use F8 for performance toggle key. Now, the reason I use this is when switching through G shade presets, using F8 and then switching the G shade preset makes i don't i don't know it just makes a very big difference so now once you've set that up we want to set up where our screenshots are going to go and mine are in my pictures where i want them so that is the specific folder you would just click this button right here and then from there you would find whatever folder wherever you have it on your computer to use for g shade and now you should go home and you should see this up here for you it'll be off Go ahead and click that and you should see all the presets that are in G Shade for you to offer. Mine currently on is my one of my favorites, which is the White Willow by Tiana Berry. But I want to use the ones that I just got. So I'm going to do a gameplay by Comfort Zone. Click that. As you can see, it makes a big difference because it turns the shader off. And I have performance mode on and this is with it on. So that is 
definitely way lighter than I thought it was going to be. And of course, it, this is the main menu. So these are a lot of very bright colors. So in game, it might look different. But if I press the home key, that takes away the menu. And then if I press the OME key, now you can see that the shaders are working. Alrighty, now say that you have a preset, uh, like a, a preset from Reshade and you just use my tutorial to transfer to G Shade. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this preset I absolutely love. It's by SimD and it is a Reshade preset that I use in my G Shade. So how I do this is I download, of course, the preset by just clicking download on the link that she has. If you, right, in order to transfer this reshade preset into a G shade preset, you're going to need to launch the control panel that came when you downloaded it. So once that's open, go to the tools tab and it's, you're going to see this launch converter button. Before we do that, we want to place this preset where it goes, dropping that right into the G shade presets folder and then into custom. Now, after doing that, go ahead and click launch converter and go to exactly where you just put that preset. I've done that the preset conversion complete pop-up will pop up go ahead and click the X out of the G shade control panel alrighty guys so this is where I'm going to leave the video I hope you enjoyed learning how to put G shade into the Sims 4 with me if you did hopefully you would give this video a thumbs up and turn on post notifications as well as subscribe so you can be notified about my future posts once again, thank you so much for watching and enjoy my outro. Bye guys.